What's up guys, Sean here of Lost Coast Tactical. Right in front of me, I have a pistol case, and that pistol case says Sig Sour on it. So I obviously know it's a Sig Sour, but I have no idea what is inside. I can probably tell by just looking at the labeling on the side here, but that would just kind of take the fun out of it, and I don't want to do that. But what I can tell is that this Sig pistol case is relatively big, and the content inside has some significant weight, so I can tell right now that it's most likely a full-size pistol of some kind. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what the hell's inside, huh? Okay, no wonder why it's so heavy, because this is a 1911, and specifically, I can also tell this is the Sig Sauer 1911 Emperor Scorpion because it comes in this bronze finish in both the slide and the frame itself and it also has this very unique reptilian scale pattern grip panels on the side and also in the back strap. But before we look into further into the gun let's go ahead and clear it to make sure that you know we're not shooting up the studio or um, you know I'm not making things go boom that I, I, I did not intend to. So. Let's do that. So it's cleared. Chamber flag. Never throw these things away. I know a lot of you may be, will be tuned to try to toss it, but don't because a lot of ranges actually require you guys to have this. All right. So the Emperor Scorpion. Now this is an all steel gun. Quite heavy, probably over 45 ounces. I can instantly tell and this is most likely because of its full size 5 inch barrel and also here the extended dust cover as you can see. This one is chambered in the 45 auto because it says right there, I'm not sure if you can see. Okay. Now the grip panels that I mentioned earlier, it is very unique that it comes in a reptilian scale pattern but what's even more unique about it is that it's very very aggressive I mean as you can tell I'm trying to slide my thumb up and I'm not really seeing much give not feeling much give and if I really tried hard enough I'm pretty sure I can peel the hell off the, the skin on my thumb and it's the same deal in the back strap in the front strap however it's got a checkering that when paired with the grip panels it offers such such a aggressive grip I mean look my hand's not turning, and I'm pretty sure that when you're firing, this thing is going to stick to your hands no matter what. Whether you've got, you're using gloves, bare hands, wet hands, sweaty hands, slightly oily hands, this thing is not flying anywhere no matter what. Okay, now towards the front of the frame here, we have Picatinny rails. And this is for all of your accessories, whether you want a laser, flashlights, it's compatible with anything that you can throw on there. And just the back here, we have the thumb safety, ambidextrous, which is pretty standard on most 1911s out there. And you also have the grip safety here. And to see if it works, you can see the hammer is not being engaged. But if we put pressure on the grip safety, boom, it works. Now let's go ahead and check out the trigger. Trigger's very, trigger is quite crisp. That is fully expected from a Sig Sauer because their triggers are always nice. There's a little bit of a creep, but that's quite normal. And honestly, when you're buying a Sig, you're buying a, always an awesome trigger system no matter what. If we look on the slide here, we have serrations in the back and in the front that'll help you in chambering. So if you're like me that like to chamber from the back, or with some of you who like chambering from the front, the serrations help out with both preferences. On the top of the slide, we have tritium sights. In the back is the basic two dot tritium sights that is adjustable in the right and left direction. And it's the same with the front tritium sight, the one dot, adjustable from right and left directions only. Sadly, they can't be adjusted up and down, but 
you can find replacement sights out there that will enable you to do that. So that's really not a big deal. Okay. Now, 1911s, I've always loved the feel of 1911s because they feel quite robust and that weight, you just, it just feels, I don't want to be sexist, but it feels quite manly. And that extra weight actually helps with the recoil a lot. So that's actually why I love them. Another thing that I love about the 1911s, and all 1911s actually, is that how tight fitting between the frame and the slides are. I mean, most pistols out there like um, Springfield Hellcats or Smith & Wesson's M&Ps or even Glocks out there, uh, there's you can see gaps between the frame and the slide itself and it just looks like hosh posh lego put together but anyways but with 1911s that's not the case because everything is so tightly fit that you don't feel much wobble and you don't feel much give and you could just feel that quality in your hands now I can't wait to take this thing out onto a range and actually see how it fires. And I'm pretty sure, as with most Sig Sauer 1911s out there, this thing will perform terrifically. But that's going to be for another review video, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and check out the other contents inside the box. So, the 1911 Emperor Scorpion comes standard with two 8-round magazines, as we can see here. Okay, and let's see what else is under here. Okay, so we have the basic bullet marketing material for 6R because they always want to sell their bullets also. You got window decals, okay? And you have the owner's manual. Okay, you have the owner's manual, but where's the safety manual? Oh, aha, I'm a dumbass. Okay, it says, 1911 owner's manual handling and safety instructions yeah i'm the dumbass as you can see anyways okay so here is the cable lock does not have the sig sour logo on it and i'm quite sad about that so it probably means it's made in china i'm gonna toss it i'm just kidding i'm not a hater i just prefer things to be made in the united states america okay so, MSRP of the 1911 Emperor Scorpion ranges anywhere from $1,049 all the way to $1,199, depending where you look. And for a gun, well, the only critique that I can have about the Emperor Scorpion, as for a gun that's over $1,000, I expect it to come with at least three magazines. But however, when you really look in a bigger picture, when you're thinking about a gun as a lifetime investment, especially in a infamous 1911 platform that has so much history, over 100 years of service history, and also from a battle-tested brand like Sig Sauer, this is probably the best investment that you can ever make. That's pretty much it, guys, as far as the 1911 Emperor Scorpion goes. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much guys for watching. We over at Lost Coast Tactical enjoy putting these videos together for you. If you like our content and want to see more of it, please be sure to support us by clicking the subscribe button. Another way you can show your support is by becoming our patron on Patreon. With your contributions, we will be able to upgrade the quality of our content that you can ultimately enjoy. Please also consider sharing our videos with your friends, as this helps us immensely in increasing our channel's growth and online exposure. Thank you again on behalf of everyone here at Lost Coast Tactical. We will see you on the next one.